Welcome to this course titled Student Discourse and Frequent Small Group Purposeful Talk as designed and produced by the Region 11 Service Center. In this course, you'll learn to design and implement frequent small group structured student talking opportunities to increase student critical thinking and speaking. For this module, you'll need your copies of the Fundamental 5 and Focus. At the conclusion of this module, you'll have an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding of the stated learning objective by participating in a demonstration lab sponsored by Region 11 Certification Team. During the demonstration lab, you'll present a 10-minute mini-lesson in which you model frequent small group talk about the learning. You will receive feedback based on the proficiency rubric you see on the screen. To earn credit for this course, participants must score at the proficient or master's level. We're ready to get started. Grab your copies of the books and let's do this. So what does the research say about frequent opportunities to think, process, and talk about learning? Pause the video now and read pages 72 to 73 of Focus. All right, let's check your understanding. Think about what the research of Silber, Strong, and Peroni says about the frequency of planned teachers' pauses. How long should teachers teach before stopping to allow students to think about the content and talk with peers? Yeah, on page 72 in Focus, Schmoker cites the research of Silver, Strong, and Peroni and they say that these thinking and interacting breaks during the lesson must happen at least every five minutes. Pause the video now and read pages 51 to 68 of the Fundamental 5. Click on the pop-up on the screen to download a reading guide for the chapter. Use the questions to guide your thinking as you read. Let's examine some of the different components for this teaching practice. For your demonstration of this skill, we'll use the 5 minutes from Schmoker instead of the 10 to 15 minutes from Kane and Laird. Now, check your understanding and think about this question. What are some ways to facilitate the frequency of teaching stops? Many teachers use timers and also place questions in lesson plans at approximate time intervals. Digital timers are easy to find online. YouTube also has embeddable timers for display and slides presentations. Depending on your students and the content, you should group your students in groups of two to four. Think about the following preparation pieces for grouping. How can you set up your room to facilitate small group work? Which image on this slide would be better for small group work? Seating arrangements that already have students grouped together make it easier to transition to frequent small group talk during lessons. If students have to move furniture every time you want them to talk, time will be lost during every transition. At this point, please pause the video and click on the pop-up on the screen, which will link you to a Teach Hub article about a variety of grouping ideas. As you read, think about the following question. What grouping strategies or routines will you use to efficiently get students into groups? Many teachers create different sized groups for different types of work. They also think about the abilities and personalities of their students to inform their grouping choices. For student talk to be purposeful, the teacher must create a high-level seed question tied to the objective, establish routines and expectations for the peer talk, and monitor the talk by walking around and assessing the learning. All frequent small group purposeful talk begins with a high-level seed question. Look at your TEKS and the learning objective. Think about the chunk of learning that you'll deliver before the frequent small group purposeful talk. 
What do students need to understand about that chunk of learning? Create a question that prompts students to think or process the chunk. Let's look at an example for third grade science. First, we look at the actual TEK, 3.7 TEK B. The student is expected to investigate rapid changes in Earth's surfaces, such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and landslides. Then, we look at the learning objective, which is students will investigate the rapid change that occurs when volcanoes erupt by watching a time-lapse video. After watching the time-lapse video of the eruption, provide students the following questions. Partner A, how did the Earth's surface change in the video you just watched? Partner B, what evidence did you see for the change? After delivering clear directions in the questions, you would walk around as students talk and listen to their discussions. Keeping a simple roster with you helps you take notes for each student. On this slide, you'll need to pause the video and click on the pop-up to access a teaching channel video link. Watch the video, then think about the following question. How does the teacher in the video make the small group talk more purposeful for her 6th graders? Many teachers define the behaviors and vocabulary they want students to use during the frequent small group purposeful talk. Monitoring students for those specific behaviors helps the teacher to assess the learning. Pause the video and check out some of these pop-up links. The first link contains some stems for accountable talk, and the second one contains additional talk stem ideas. Think about this question. How can accountable talk stems help students stay purposeful in their small group talk? Many teachers use anchor charts with accountable talk stems, and some have sentence starters attached to student desks. Students of all ages benefit from having the use of accountable talk stems modeled throughout the year. Wow, you've covered a lot of information, so let's take some time to do a formative assessment. At this time, please take a moment to pause the video and click on the pop-up link to take a practice quiz. Once you take it, check out your score and feedback and review any information you may have missed before you start planning your 10-minute micro-teach. So let's start thinking about your 10-minute micro-teach lesson that will implement frequent small group purposeful talk. During the demonstration lab, you'll present a 10-minute mini lesson in which you model frequent small group talk about the learning. You'll receive feedback based on the proficiency rubric you see on the screen. To earn credit for this course, participants must score at the proficient or master's level. The following slides are a few helpful tips as you prepare for your mini-lesson. Spend up to the first five minutes introducing a new concept or skill tied to a TEEK and learning objective. For the next two to three minutes, you could provide a high-level seed question that prompts students to discuss or reflect on the new skill. Be sure to indicate who they will speak to and how long each will be speaking. Consider partner A and partner B roles and or accountable talk stems. While students are talking, set a timer and actively monitor the discussions. Based on what you heard in the student discussions, have extension or clarifying questions related to the concept that students discussed. Also, it can be very powerful for students to write down a short response based on their discussion. So, consider having students do a two-minute writing piece, and then call on students to share out those responses. You got this. Look over the rubric and think about the skills that you've practiced in the other modules. If you need more resources to guide you, check out these pop-ups for sentence stem templates, let's talk routines, and structured peer conversations. Thank you for watching and good luck with your mini lesson. 
This module referenced the books of Fundamental 5 and Focus. Images were from Pixabay and Unsplash.